Hi, this is Bill Kulterman, and this demo you're watching on Sparklines is from my Excel 2010 training course. All right, in this worksheet, I have 12 months worth of sales data for three different stores, and I am going to chart this data. I'm going to use a Sparkline, but I'm not going to make a big giant chart. I'm just going to create a Sparkline for this data. Now, a Sparkline is a very small single cell chart. It's a word sized chart that you can put anywhere you want. It doesn't even have to be next to your data and I'm going to show you that in just a little bit so hang in there with me. I'm going to start by selecting the cell that I want the spark line to show up in right here in P3 because I'm going to chart all of this data. So I will start here Go to my insert menu, just like we do with our regular charts. And right here next to the chart section, up on the ribbon, you will see spark lines. This little group right here. The first one is line. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to select the line, spark line. And it's asking me to select my data range. Well, let's click on my little box. And I will click and drag here out to January. There we go. We move back over, expand this. It's already got the location range because I already had that cell selected. I'll then choose OK, and there it is. Let me go ahead and zoom up on it a little bit so you can see it a little better. That is our spark line. Pretty neat, huh? Let's go ahead and I'm going to widen that column a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. That's a spark line. It's just a very simple chart of this data. Now, notice what's over here in the lower right corner. Yes, that is a fill handle. I'm going to get my mouse right on there, get that crosshair, hold down my left mouse button, and pull down. Heck, let's do the total row, too. And now I have a spark line for each one of these rows. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Yeah, I like the spark lines. Now, when you select the spark line, and I'm going to choose this one here, because you want to change some of the options or change some of the formatting, notice that I have this blue box all the way around this whole section of spark lines. They kind of work as a group. So, once I do that, I get my spark line tools contextual tab. There's only one tab in here, the design, and you'll see that we have a few different options. Now, the first thing I want to do is select markers. The markers, there you go, that helps a lot, I think, with the spark lines, especially when they're small like this. And you know what? We can even do this. Let me grab all of my columns, excuse me, rows, and widen them a little bit. Make them a little bit taller, make them a little wider. There we go. Now we can see our spark lines a little bit better. And the markers give me a marker at each of the points, each of the data points. And there you go. Let's go ahead and let's take a, another look. I can take the markers off and just mark, have it mark the high points or the low points, the high and the low. Can take that off, do the first point and the last point if we want. I like all the markers. That's that's me. That's just one of my uh, preferences. I can go ahead in here and change. Well, actually, before we do that, let's take a look at our styles. Just like we've seen with styles on, on our tables, on our charts, we have some style options here. Not a lot, and there's not a great deal of useful, I think, variation. Uh, I personally, with the styles, I like something like this, where there's a contrast between the markers and the line. That one's a little more subtle. That one is even more subtle still. Uh, and, you know, just like with everything else, you can pick and choose all different kinds of styles. Now let's go back to our basic style, all black, because I want to show you that I can change the marker color like this. I can change all of the markers. I can pick another color. Let's go to that red. I can change the sparkling color. Let's go ahead and pick something really obnoxious like yellow. Well, you can't even see that. How about green? Very Christmassy, isn't it? 
Let's go back to this. But let's look at some more of these marker colors. I can make the high point a particular color. Let's make the high point green. And let's make the low point red. So now, let me zoom up even more. I know it's kind of hard to see these. They're small. But that's the point of them. They're very small. Now we can see that my low point is in red, my high point is in green, and all my other markers are still black. So a lot of really neat things that we can do with these spark lines. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.